Two weeks ago, the Atlanta Falcons, sporting a seven-game win streak, and with their last three games at home, looked to be an odds-on favorite for an NFC playoff spot, Tom. Well, Pat, we all know what happened to the Falcons against the Buffalo Bills, but last Sunday, they committed the monumental error of underestimating their opponent, the St. Louis Cardinals, and they got blown out of the sky once again. Eddie Ray is one of the Atlanta running backs who got such a well-inscribed lesson in underestimation, he may not even remember it. Ray was not the only Falcon to get his feathers ruffled, however, as five times the Cardinals winged in to sack the frustrated Falcon signal callers. Aside from a 32-yard Nick Mickemeyer field goal, the only other points the Falcons could produce came off a 38-yard interception return by number 27, Tom Hayes. But Hayes' performance was the only Atlanta achievement worthy of praise, as for the greater part of the day, the Falcons tried to count the ways to give it away. And have it taken away. Five times the dazed Falcons turned the ball over, and inevitably a fellow named Jim Bakken capitalized on the miscues with field goals. Six times the Cardinal place kicker found his range, and by the end of the afternoon was fifth on the all-time scoring list with 1,002 career points. With Jim Hart injured, the Cardinal air attack was grounded, but even so, the offense gouged out 243 yards rushing. 100 yards of which came off the stylish sprints of rookie sensation Terry Metcalf. With 20 of their 32 points coming through the crossbars, Jim Otis' touchdown was a welcome diversion. And while it seemed that nothing could go right for the Falcons, the Cardinals seemed to be beyond reproach. Indeed, the last play of the game all but confirmed the Cardinal destiny to win as Donnie Anderson's fumble turned from a bungle to a six-point bonus. Number 80, Jim McFarland scooped up the ball and the 32-10 margin of victory broke a four-game St. Louis losing streak and left the Falcons wondering what the heck happened to all their playoff dreams. 